Hello, Zalalem here. Um, this is Java programming for beginners. Welcome to the course. But first, don't forget to subscribe by pressing the right lower red button on the video. This is the first of a video series um, on Java programming for beginners. Uh, we will go through the basics of Java programming. Um, uh, for the coming uh, subsequent videos and uh, today we will start by discussing on the history and uh, basic principles behind Java programming. So <coughs> uh, the Java programming uh, language uh, was conceived in 1991 in uh, Sun Microsystems uh, Corporation uh, by James Gosling and his colleagues and it was first released um, in 1995 um, and uh, uh, when it was um, developed it used uh, features from C and C++ programming languages which were um, uh, developed in the 1970s and um, uh, it was uh, um, conceived and developed to alleviate uh, the problem of uh, uh, having different source codes or um, uh, programming uh, approaches for different platforms with a requirement of different compilers. So uh, what that means is uh, Java is once programmed those uh, source codes can be used in any platform because um, the Java is compiled to byte codes and these byte codes are executed uh, by the Java virtual machine uh, which is um, developed once for a, a specific platform and that uh, virtual machine can um, you know execute those uh, compiled byte codes um, in any of the platforms. So uh, this um, uh, uh, byte codes are uh, similar wherever you compile them. So um, this uh, makes it uh, very convenient to use the Java programming in various platforms. When we say platforms, we mean um, PCs, Mac OS X, Linux, and the processors uh, they use um, uh, to run the operating system. Uh, so Java used the features of C and C++ programming languages. It has also influenced uh, many programming languages which were invented uh, after it. Uh, which uh, one of the commonest one is C sharp programming, which is uh, developed by Microsoft, and it's one of the popular programming languages uh, for various um, uh, purposes. Uh, why is Java um, uh, common and uh, widely used? Uh, it has very, very important and um, core principles that make it um, suitable for programming and made it um, a popular uh, programming language. One of the first principle is it is an object-oriented uh, programming. When we say uh, object-oriented programming language, um, it means the programming language um, is constructed around uh, the principle of objects. That means um, um, the uh, uh, source codes are um, designed um, um, taking into condition or considering um, um, an entity as an object, for example, uh, a person is considered as an object in the programming world, um, a tree, uh, an animal, or an employee, 
and so on. These are considered as, as objects and these uh, very well interfaces the data with the uh, construct of objects. The other important um, principle behind uh, Java um, programming uh, is abstraction uh, of um, details of the technical details of uh, uh, the uh, programming uh, functionalities and uh, this means um, it simplifies the inner complexities of the functions of the objects and their state and behaviors uh, that means we can use the functions methods of an object without uh, the need to know how those uh, functions methods are um, functioning so <clears throat> this categorizes data hierarchically into manageable parts so that um, we can um, have uh, unique functionalities for uh, unique objects and we can use those functionalities without having to know the, uh, the inner workings of the methods or how the method comes up or solves the problem uh, we can use those methods and uh, abstraction focus on you know using the functionality methods um, uh, without having uh, to bother about the uh, details of the uh, methods. We can use cars as an example, for example. Uh, cars have got uh, thousands of parts to make it you know, function uh, properly, but drivers um, use the dashboard uh, in front of them to drive it easily and effectively um, without knowing the details of the functions of each uh, of their actions. For example, if they have to um, uh, accelerate the car, they have to, the, they have to push the uh, accelerator, but they don't have to know how the car is uh, being accelerated by the internal parts of the car and um, if they want to change direction uh, they will have to turn the wheel uh, towards the direction they want to turn to but they don't have to know how that um, you know uh, turning of the wheel functions downwards up to the uh, tire so this uh, i think simplifies the concept of uh, abstraction. The other important concept in object-oriented programming and in Java is encapsulation and uh, encapsulation means um, securing the um, state and uh, behaviors of um, an object where they don't have to be exposed to the external world. Uh, this principle secures those um, components of an object from inappropriate or external interference and um, uh, when uh, encapsulation is effectively applied you know users that means programmers you know how to access the accessible parts of the object um, and uh, programmers also uh, are ensured that the state and uh, behavior of an object um, is um, made accessible without fear of unexpected side effects. That means manipulation of the state of an object or um, um, data. <clears throat> the other uh, important um, uh, principle is inheritance. Inheritance means um, uh, the uh, process whereby um, uh, an object can acquire the properties and functionalities of um, uh, or behaviors of uh, another object and it only defines its unique properties and use its um, uh, 
common uh, behaviors with its related objects from its superclass or parent and this principle is very important in um, creating hierarchical classifications in the source code of our um, uh, program or project or um, files um, uh, as I said uh, the object is expected to uh, define its unique features and it uses common features from the parent or super um, uh, class and uh, inheritance is involved around the concepts of parent child or super and shadow when we say uh, a child it means an object or a class where it defines its own uh, unique features and it uses the property defined in the parent class and the parent class is sometimes called super class and the child class is also called subclass and uh, one the other um, a very important and common principle in uh, object oriented programming in the java world is polymorphism and uh, this means that uh, an entity in an object can be uh, used uh, for different functions but similar uh, fun uh, functionalities um, depending on the uh, uh, input uh, provided uh, in other words it means one interface one interface and um, multiple methods and um, uh, this uh, polymorphism is uh, uh, affected uh, by the compiler the compiler knows which functionality to utilize based on the inputs provided during uh, compilation of the uh, source code what's next uh, once the foundations uh, of java programming language is out of the way uh, what we will do next is uh, first we will set up uh, jdk in our system jdk stands for java development kit um, and then we will set up NetBeans IDE. Uh, it's an integrated development environment uh, that we will be using to um, work on our courses. And then we will do a simple uh, uh, program uh, and uh, test our system is working uh, properly. Uh, see you in the next uh, video. Bye.